We really wanted to subdue the house and make the landscape the hero. I'm Luke Rhodes, Director of Zen Architects. We are responsible for the architecture and interior design for Garden House. Garden House is situated within the Mount Eagle Estate, Wurundjeri country. It is approximately 20 minutes east of the Melbourne CBD within the suburb of Eaglemont. The original house was erected in the mid 1930s. The pre-existing conditions held a three bedroom, two bathroom and two living room house. We retained the original facade and front three rooms due to a heritage overlay. It provides an unassuming entry that heightens the impact of the interventions beyond. The brief for the project asks for updated amenities, improved comfort and a greater connection to the landscape. The teardrop shaped gardens created by the contoured road plans of the estate inform the architectural intervention. It is about the house wrapping around the garden and bringing the garden deep within the house. Natural elements within the landscape, such as rock, mixed native vegetation with varied foliage and colour, and the gum trees really inform the materials palette for the project. The selected materials are natural and organic, expressed in their true form, with little to no applied finishes. As you enter the home, you are immediately drawn to the landscape. A curved glass facade draws you through the house and out into the garden. Off to the right-hand side of the curved glass facade opens up the kitchen and dining space. The large north-facing window in the corner of the dining room throws dappled natural light across the space throughout the day. To the left, a full height window cantilevers you over the garden. A large sliding door off the dining space provides access directly to the beautiful garden. Once in the garden, you cross over a small flowing creek. The masonry facade that curves around the house is gently carved out, becoming the outdoor living space. Within the kitchen, we wanted to keep a consistent material palette. The curved edges of the kitchen allow for a natural flow within the space and ties in with a strong curvilinear theme within the house. The floor plan then steps down into a sunken living room and deck embedding itself in the landscape. It provides an alternate experience of the site with high ceilings and tall windows providing a verticality in contrast to the main living zone. The tall vertical window in the sunken living room was carefully positioned to frame an existing mahogany gum. We wanted the house to enhance the existing natural landscape as much as we could. Circling back to the front of the house, we retained the three front rooms. We converted the main room into a main bedroom, walk-in robe and ensuite. We identified wasted space throughout the middle of the floor plan. There were four large wet areas located centrally. We pushed those spaces to the perimeter and created a more compact footprint. Our clients had lived on the site for over 20 years prior to engaging Zen Architects with little or no alterations to the house. A priority for us was to tie that love of the garden back into the house through designing a house that could connect them when they were inside and out. My favourite part of the project would be the impact that we've been able to deliver with the minimum of disturbance to the site.